Welcome to Swats Corner, where today we're going to be flushing this 2008 Jeep Liberty heater core. Um, of course, it wasn't supposed to rain for a couple more hours. Now that I've got everything set up, it's going to rain. I've got a pump here, hooks to the battery. I've got some CLR, uh, a bucket to put it in, and some distilled water I'm going to pump through it. And what I'd like to do is try to pump it through backwards and then forwards for about 35, 45 minutes. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is get those lines off. And uh, what we need to do is pinch them off and then uh, unhook them from the, disconnect them from the heater cord. This is the line going in. This is the line going out. With these old style, these are the original fittings. You just use some channel locks to squeeze them and then I'm going to use both hands to pull that off. The next fitting is the screw type fitting that should be a lot easier to get off if I can get to it and uh, I'm going to replace the other fitting with the screw type fitting. This is a new kind of fitting. Just pick it up at the hardware store stainless steel. This is the old one. The nice thing about these new fittings are they're 5 16 so you can use just a regular little ratchet to undo them very easy. Put that there to catch the coolant, but it wasn't quick enough. So there, got them both off. Now we're going to go ahead and hook up a hose to those and try to clean them out. I might clean off the, uh, the nubs there first too. set up is the flow goes out and it's going into the uh, where the coolant was coming out of the heater core so I'm going to be pushing backwards against it and then it's going to flow back into the bucket. Now I'm going to fill it with CLR and we need to wear gloves. So the pump is off, everything's hooked up. I'm going to check it for leaks once we get going. There's the bucket of CLR and the instructions for the pump say to hook up the red first and then the black second. And I guess there's a question of whether or not I'll run out of battery doing this. And obviously I can't run the car, so I may have to pull up the other car. But let's turn on the pump and see what we get. Checking the hoses here for leaks. Looks pretty good. And the pump is going. And it's coming out uh, here into the bucket. I strained it for a little while and didn't really see very much. A little bit of sandy type stuff. This hose for the inlet is kind of coiled around and not picking up off the bottom. But uh, we're going to leave it for a few more minutes and then maybe I'll switch the two and we'll have the, uh, I'll switch the input and the output. Okay, so after running it for about 20 minutes, um, I'm going to switch hoses um, and then run it uh, forward, which will be the direction that uh, the heater would normally run. Looks like we got some sun, so rain has stopped. Cut it on about five minutes, coming the other way. And you can see, it's probably hard to tell in the video, but you can see little tiny grains. Every once in a while, a big grain will come out. And there's still stuff coming out, but a lot less than there was at first. So after this, I'm gonna run some distilled water through it and then uh, hook it back up. See if we got heat. I've got is a lot of little tiny sand type particles and uh, quite a bit of it. Um, let's run some water through. Maybe just a couple minutes on each side on the distilled water, but it's like it's cleaned it all out real nice. I went back and forth a few times with the distilled water to get it all cleaned out. And now I'm gonna go ahead and hook the hoses back up and try it out. Let's see how much coolant we have. Looks like we're almost full, so that's good. So 
I'm gonna put the new clips on both hoses and reconnect it. Start it up. Okay, we got the heat on. Temperature is still cold, so we'll let it run for a minute. I tried not to spill any coolant, but of course I did, so it's smoking a little bit, but there are no leaks. So that's good. We'll let the smoke disappear a little bit. We're getting really warm heat, although it is 55 degrees outside uh, this morning it was 34 degrees and so it felt a little cooler but um, this, this feels great to go on and circulate still put it on, uh, put it on fresh air it still feels good Day. Head on over to the Jeep Liberty KK page on Facebook and thanks.